हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट द सब कमिटी ऑफ द आई एम ओ सो इन आवर अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव टॉक अबाउट असेंबली काउंसिल इन द सेकेंड वीडियो वी हैव टॉक अबाउट एम एस सी एम ई पी सी एंड इन आवर थर्ड वीडियो वी हैव टॉक अबाउट दिस कमिटी नाउ वी गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट द सब कमिटी ऑफ द आई एम ओ वॉट इज द सब कमिटी सो बेसिकली सब कमिटीज आर द कमिटी which provide assistance to the msc and mepc in their work because as you know in our video we have told that msc and mepc have a lot to cover means they are the in charge of a technical body highest technical body and they are in charge of the pollution prevention and control so the scope is very large it cannot be done by a single handily by this committee so they require sub committee in order to provide assistance to their work so that is been done by the sub committee so there are total how many number of some sub committee seven number of sub committee these are human training and watchkeeping implementation of imo instrument navigation communication search and rescue pollution prevention and response ship design and construction ship system and equipment carriage of cargo and container so there are total seven sub committee each having by their name as you can see having their own scope on which they will work and assist the msc and mepc committee so now as you can see here today we will explain the carriage of cargo and container and the implementation of imo instrument these two we will explain today and in our upcoming video we will explain the remaining four or five also so let's see about the carriage of cargo and container so carriage of cargo and container also known as triple c so as you can see the carriage of cargo and container so the word itself say that the carriage of cargo and container sub committee work in relation to the how the cargo is carried and how the cargo is carried in container means basically the whole concept is on the safety so under the direct instruction of msc and mepc the sub committee of carriage and cargo have a following work the first is the effective implementation of the relevant convention what convention we are talking about we are talking about the solid bulk cargo ibc code amdg code container so all this code is effectively followed or not that is been seen and overseen by this committee so what we are seeing here they cc is basically taking safety and pollution hazard of the package or dangerous cargo means what are the safety and pollution hazard of a package and dangerous cargo solid bulk cargo and gas cargo that will be overseen by the cc survey and certification of the hazardous cargo enhancement of safety and security of the environmental consciousness in the cargo container operation so as you can see the carriage of cargo and container sub committee basically deals with the it see that all the code like imdg ibc okay these are all the code are followed or not it also deals with the safety and pollution hazard of the cargo it also deals with the surveillance certification of the cargo and it also deals with the security related and environmental consciousness of the cargo so these are the work of the carriage of cargo and container sub committee and by that they provide assistance to the msc they also have a provided cooperation with the un body igu and ngo so these are the work of the ccc now see about the another sub sub committee of the implementation of imo instrument so what do we mean by implementation of imo instrument so they are the this sub committee work on the imo instrument this instrument are such as hsw marpol solas colreg load line so these are the instrument which are very important in and flag state to be properly follow so basically the work of the triple i is that to see that this instrument hsw marpol solas colreg load line are properly implemented and follow by the particular flag state or not if they are not been followed then what things are not been followed how can that be rectified they are overseeing this so how they are going to do 
they have formed an scheme which is called IMSAS IMO member state audit scheme so this is called IMSAS IMO member state audit scheme which have a cycle period of seven years so IMO audit scheme which having a cycle period of seven year it means what it means that in a seven year period all the member state all the party who are party to these conventions SJW Marple Solas will be audited by the IMO and which is be headed by the MSC MEPC depending upon that and we'll see that whether these instrument are followed or not once more I will repeat so in a cycle period of seven years all the member of the party to the convention all this convention will be reviewed by the IMO and will be seen that how much to what extent they are following the rules and regulation what are the flaws and based on that flaws they will provide guidance so the subcommittee of the subcommittee on triple i bring together flag port and coastal state and basically see they will form a casr what is casr it is a consolidated audit summary report so what does it contain so basically in consolidated audit report they having a key role in casualty analysis and issuing lesson learned from the maritime incident so what they are going to see what first they will carry out the audit of each member state and after carrying out the audit of each member state they will find the flaw now suppose in our ship what happened sometime our ship is regularly getting inspected and after that based on that in uh, our PSC inspection or waiting inspection what we see there's a list that is it is given that uh, most of the defect from the shipping industry is co coming in SJW course or most of the shipping deficiencies coming from the navigation po point of view or lifeboat so like that what they will do they will also carry out the audit of the flag state port and coastal state and after that they will form they will found out that from which instrument the issue are coming in most of the state and they will form a CASR and they will publish it based on that what will happen the other state which are yet to be reviewed or, or have been reviewed will carry out a corrective action and will follow the thing so this is how this CASR work so the subcommittee what will do they will carry out the audit after that carrying out the audit they will publish the CASR audit report and that audit report will help to know all the other member state that what are the casualty analysis what are the lesson learned from this audit the subcommittee receives the analysis report and keep it under the review procedure for post-trade control guideline for surveillance certification including the harmonized surveillance certification also comes under the subcommittee so very very important so the triple i subcommittee oversee imo audit scheme and second is that hssc harmonized system of survey and certification so these two things these two things is overseen by the implementation of imo instrument committee okay so this is the thing now sometime the question is asked in the oral that what are the imo instrument if they ask you what is the imo instrument you should directly say they are two things mandatory instrument and non-mandatory instrument if they ask you imo instrument the mandatory instrument are convention protocol resolution amendment and non-mandatory are recommendation guideline and circular but if they ask you what is the triple i core instrument what is triple i core instrument so these are SCW, coal rig, load line, solas, marpole, tonnage. So these are the triple I code instrument. So be sure to know that if IMO instrument they ask you, this is a, this is, are these thing. And if they ask you triple I code instrument, these are these thing. So basically, the triple I code is work on the IMO IMSAS audit scheme. If you want to know more about the IMSAS, so please do comment. I will make a detailed video about the IMSAS audit scheme. So I hope in today's video you will learn you have learned that what is a triple I instrument, what is the work of CCC, and what are the subcommittee of the IMO and why it is formed. I hope you like today's video. If you like it and if you have gained something, 
please do subscribe please it matter to us if you subscribe and please do share our video in a different platform like facebook whatsapp instagram whatever so that more of the friends can come to this platform and learn together this platform is made for you all to have a learn together so please help us in building us so thank you friends